Good afternoon. I'm John Connerty. I'm a current WMS uh, employee. Uh, I do work in a law enforcement capacity, uh, and there is uh, very dangerous work that we do do uh, that involves uh, the apprehension of homicide suspects or other violent uh, felons who are in the community. Uh, any sort of concerns that are any sort of issues that may arise, there's there's no protection that I have that uh, is something that would be afforded me if I was uh, represented um, through uh, some sort of bargaining uh, unit. Um, I do also have a concern regarding pay, as the person just mentioned before. Uh, there is a assessment piece, but um, typically there's no pay raises, regardless of how well you do or don't do your job. Um, the, the raises are more or less reliant on the represented people to get a raise and then by virtue of some compression situation um, it would then allow us to get that rather than um, allowing that to occur uh, based on the merits of our work. Hi, I'm Michael Poston. I'm with the Department of Corrections. Um, I'm assigned to the Community Response Unit which, like John, is a unit that was created by the Department of Corrections to seek out and locate the most violent, dangerous um, offenders on supervision. Like John said, I'm also a WMS employee, and I have no legal services or benefits provided right now. Um, By allowing me to engage in a union, um, I would be able to get those protections for me and my family. That's all I have. Thank you. Hi. Thank you for your time today. Um, I'm a current WMS member within the state of uh, Washington, and this is important to me and as far as my coworkers. from the aspect of the fact that with, without the ability to unionize, um, our employees are stuck where they're at. And I'll give you an example of that. I work with a 32-year employee that has been in a WMS job class for 19 years, and they make the same amount monetarily as a person starting the next day. Within WMS, it's a performance-based management system that says you will receive incentives, potential incentives based on your performance every year. Um, if the budget allows. Unfortunately, it does never appear that the budget allows for those concessions. So while union members get consistent raises, uh, wage increases, cost of living, things of that nature, WMS employees are kind of stuck where they're at based on budget and the ability to manage the budget appropriately, uh, which that causes people in lower job classes to be right next to us as far as a wage goes. So uh, most of my career, the people I supervise, I make 5% more than them uh, consistently, uh, where the people that that they supervise, they make 15% more. Um, So as far as this bill goes, it'd be nice to allow the people that have dedicated their life to the department or state service to be able to reach the pinnacle of their pay scale to benefit them in the long term and their retirement. As it sits right now, there's not any band one WMS managers that I'm aware of that are even close to the top of this pay scale, whether they've been doing it for one day or 20 years. That's all I have. Thank you.